Okay, so this is Watsy. I probably should have brushed his mane for this, but I forgot. Um, he's a three-year-old Mustang. He was sent here to be started. He was pretty gentle. He had some issues with the past trainer. Bit him in the leg. I don't know what happened, but he's been really good for me after the first week. We got him pretty good. So he's been ridden out here a few times, and he's pretty quiet. And I forgot I was going to get on him out here straight away, and I actually accidentally warmed him up because I was on the phone with someone. But I'm just going to show you with a green horse, I kind of go through the same deal every day. And, uh, and I'm not going to do that exactly the same today. What I will do, that's always the same when I get on, I always flex them both ways. Um, I find it's a good way to help them stand still, help them get soft, always release when they're giving. And I like to pet their face. It's another way to desensitize one while you're up on them. So, I'm gonna ride him off straight. Now, when I normally ride a colt off, I do a lot of little circles, move their hind end. So I'm gonna have the camera person go with us, and we're just gonna ride off like we're going off on the trail. And if you watch this horse's head, I'm gonna give him a loose rein, and his ears are gonna kind of wander out, and he's gonna be looking at kind of the whole world. And now, like, I can feel him speeding up, and what happens with these horses is they get very distracted. So normally, if I'm riding, I keep them pretty busy. I'll ride, and then when they're distracted, I'll just turn them. I'll just say, oh, why don't you go this way? And then I'll hold on until he gives right there. He got soft and stepped the way I was turning, so I release. I've got quite a few things I can practice on a colt. I might pick this up and move their hind end around. And then I might, when I get it kind of set up, I might, I might move their front end through. So I'll open up and I'll ask his front end to step more than his hind end. So I've got all these things I can practice and only release him when he's soft. So that's what I do when I'm riding out here. I'm pretty busy. Another one I really like to do is just pick up and step his shoulder over. So just yielding his shoulder to the outside. So the distraction's the big deal. My goal is to ride this horse on a loose rein. But what I have to be ready to do is when he goes like this, I, we're riding along and he's walking, and when he goes like this, I gotta do something. And then I turn him loose and we walk off on a loose rein. And then he looks over there and I gotta do something. And the more distracted he is, the busier I'm gonna have to keep him. And we've got a lot of things to work on with these young horses, like backing up. I want him to tip his nose down, back up soft. I don't care how fast he goes, but every step I'll give him a little release and just help him learn to back up better. If I want to take a little break, I might work on flexing him here, patting him, but I'm not typically just going to ride off and do this the whole time. He can almost handle it, but if I just want to be ready and watch those ears and that hip right there, his attention went that way, so I just turned him this way. And I'm going to get him soft off my hand and my leg before I release. lots of fun stuff I can do on him because I've got my obstacle course but it's more just kind of occupying his mind and, and just keeping him focused on me. Now I don't mind if he leaves me. He can leave this he can leave the situation. I'm just gonna bring him back. So I'll just go ahead and bring him back right away if he gets distracted. He's not sure about this deal. I'll just keep encouraging him forward. thing I just meant it more as like your retired horses have kind of been there seen that done that they know everything so they're just more safer as a trail horse because of their experience the young horses lack experience so you're gonna be working with them quite a bit until they start to understand that a lot of this scary stuff doesn't mean anything to them so 
Um, we'll add, we'll do some more with green horses. We'll pick some different ones, maybe with some different problems. This is going to be your normal horse you take home and think is going to be safe forever. He's super relaxed and chill, but when you leave him alone too much, he will find things to look at, to do. So practicing all your body control, moving the hip, moving the shoulders, randomly stop and back up, um, teach him to steer off their legs, and we'll try to teach you guys all that stuff too so you can use that, but that's just a little bit in the saddle to connect some of those dots. So go out there and try it, and let me know if you guys have any questions.